Hello everyone. From today, we are going to start our second lecture series. In this lecture series, we will cover genetics. Your likes and comments will help this channel to grow further. So, if you find these lectures helpful, please don't forget to leave your valuable comments and also do press the like button. Your love and support keeps me motivated to work more. Thank you. We all know that children resemble their parents. Traits such as the color of eyes, hair color, the height and weight of children resemble their parents. This means offspring inherit traits from their parents. This is true for humans as well as for plants and animals. The transmission of traits from one generation to the next is known as heredity or inheritance. And the field of biology concerned with inheritance is known as genetics. The science of heredity was a mystery before the discovery of DNA and chromosomes. How children inherit traits from their parents? What are the patterns of the transmission of these traits? The answer to these questions and the fundamental principles of genetics were first worked out by Gregor Johann Mendel in 1860s. He proposed that parents pass heritable factors to their offspring. Today, we know these heritable factors as genes. In this video lecture, we will discuss the model organism or research organism used in Mendel's experiments. The scientific approach used by Mendel to understand inheritance. Some of the key terms which we will learn in this lecture are Character, Trait, Self-Fertilization, Cross-Fertilization, True Breeding or Pure Lines, Hybrid, P Generation, F1 Generation, and F2 Generation. Let's begin. Mendel's experiments involved breeding different varieties of the garden pea. Garden pea was his research organism. The scientific name of garden pea is Pisum sativum. The choice of garden pea as research organism proved advantageous for the study of heredity due to following reasons. Garden pea is small and easy to grow. It has a short generation time. It matures quickly and produces many offspring. Pea plant comes in many varieties. And these varieties have easily distinguishable characteristics. Most important advantage was that Mendel was able to control the breeding in this plant. This was possible because of flower structure of garden pea plant. Let's understand this by illustration. This is a flower of the pea plant. As you can see in this image, the flower has both male and female sex organs. That is, stamen and pistil. Stamen contains the pollen that is male gamete. And, pistil contains the ovules the female gamete. Normally, pea flowers self-fertilize. That means, the pollen produced by the flower fertilize itself. When pollen from a flower, fertilize flower on a different plant, it is known as cross-fertilization. Mendel also cross-fertilized pea plants in his experiments. For this, he first removed male organs, that is, stamens from the flower of one plant. By doing this, he was able to prevent self-fertilization in this plant. Then he manually pollinated this flower with pollen from a flower of a different pea plant. By cross-fertilizing different varieties of pea plants, Mendel analyzed the results. The varieties of pea plant used by Mendel were true breeding or pure lines. So, what is meant by true breeding or pure lines? Suppose this is a pea plant producing purple flower. When it is self-fertilized, the next generation of pea plant is also those producing purple flowers. The varieties of a plant producing offspring with traits identical to the parent on self-fertilization are known as true breeding or pure lines. What we need to note is that, true breeding plants pass traits without change, from one generation to the next. 
Now, let's understand the terms character and trait. In some books, you will find these terms being used interchangeably. Character refers to an observable, heritable feature. For example, flower color is a character. A trait is variant of the character. For example, for flower color which is a character, purple and white color flower are the traits. Mendel studied 7 P characters, each having two distinguishable traits. These characters were Stem length or plant height Flower position Flower color Pod color Pod shape Seed color And seed shape Traits for stem length of pea plant were tall and dwarf For flower position, axial and terminal Flower color, purple and white Pod color, green and yellow Pod shape, inflated and constricted Seed color, yellow and green Seed shape, round and wrinkled Mendel crossed different true breeding varieties with each other For example, plants with purple flowers were cross-fertilized with plants with white flowers the offspring produced by cross-fertilization of two different varieties is known as hybrid. Now, here the true breeding parents are called the P generation. P stands for parental. The first two individuals that are crossed in a breeding experiment are known as P generation. The plant which provides the pollen is the male parent. And, the plant which receives the pollen is the female parent. The hybrid offspring produced by this cross-fertilization is designated as, F1 generation or, the first filial generation. The word, filial has been derived from Latin term filialis, meaning, of a son or a daughter. The progeny of the parental generation is always the F1 generation. When plants of F1 generation self-fertilize or fertilize each other, their offspring are designated as F2 generation or the second filial generation. I hope you are now familiar with the basic concepts and terms of Mendelian genetics. In the next video lecture, we will talk about the experiments and fundamental principles of heredity deduced by Mendel on the basis of his analysis. Thank you for watching.